Hello there, I'm the Biz Manager and today I'm gonna teach you guys how to make your own Space Engineer dedicated servers using nothing but the vanilla tools and these servers will be cross compatible with other platforms if you so wish to do so. Now, let's get started. The first thing that you have to do is go into your Steam page and select Tools. Uh, of course, buy the game, but after that, select Tools. Now, in those tools, you will find one thing called the Space Engineers Dedicated Server. Uh, install that, it's like uh, one or two gigabytes, uh, should be relatively quick. And after that, you want to press Play. Now we have to wait a little bit, and after that a screen is going to pop off, there we go. Now over here what you want to do, if you are like setting up the server for the first time or trying to open it for the tenth time or whatever, you just go into continue server configurations. Now before we go there, I will have to black out part of the screen because uh, it will show personal information such as your IP and other things. Uh, internet related and therefore I'll have to cover those parts up but I'll show you the relevant parts. So continue into server configuration. In here uh, I already have one world that I play with the man 19 however you want to go into new game. Alright in this menu you will want to select a uh, starting uh, scenario which is uh, either compatible with cross-platform or if you want to just to play with your mates on PC you can select any other. My advice would be the Earth Planet as this is the basic starting scenario, right? So once you have selected your cross-platform starting scenario you want to give it a unique server name. The world name can be whatever but the server, the, yes the world name can be whatever you, you choose but the server name must be unique uh, amongst all other servers. So select the name and after that scroll down all the way to the bottom where you're going to find this tick cro uh, console compatibility. So uh, uh, click it if you want it. If you don't uh, you can turn it off. Now it is very important that you also select the correct type of networking which is the e EOS for uh, console compatibility or steam if you once again just want to play with your mates all right so there you go uh, after this let me just check my notes um, you are pretty much done if you want to change any uh, world options the same that you uh, the same options that you can access through your save file uh, you can do it over here like for example the trash rem uh, removal if you want to select if you want to uh, enable spiders uh, blah, blah 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 all of that you can find it in here after you are all done you select save and start once again my friends I will have to back out part of the screen uh, because personal information however the message that you want to see on screen is something of the likes uh, game ready let me just wait a second for that message to pop out and then i'll show you guys there we go session loaded game ready once you are done in here what you're gonna do is launch your space engineers game once you have arrived in the main menu what you're gonna do is join game and in here you are going to look for the server name, uh, the unique server name that you have given. Now, if you have selected the EOS, you must uh, select this thing over here. If you want to select the Steam, you must select this one over here. Uh, let's see if I can find my server. Here we go. I'm just gonna join in and uh, give you guys a few extra tips if you want your mates to join you relatively quickly. Alright my friends, so this is the server that I uh, share with the Demand 19, so we are going to just ignore a few things, alright? So you have just spawned in your respawn pod in the uh, planet, right? How do your mates join you? Because here's the thing, everybody that joins into the um, uh, the uh, the planet or the server will not be associated with you, just in case you want to have like uh, different factions or whatever. Now, what you have to do is... Uh, uh, go over here into factions and you want to create your own faction. After your faction is created you want to, your friends to come over here and try to um, uh, join in, right? After they have uh, joined into your faction you will go into your survival pod, go into the menu, control panel for the survival kit and make it so that you are sharing with your faction. 
okay? You can share everything, but the survival kit is the important part. After this is done, you're going to tell your friends to pretty much go out of their pods and uh, I don't have my grinder, but tell them to grind out the survival kit, which should be this one over here. No, this is the terminal in survival kit. Okay, tell your friends to grind out the survival kit. After they are done with that, press backspace and respawn. That will mean that uh, the only uh, survival kit available is yours and your friends will respawn right next to you. So that's it, that's how your friends will join you relatively easily. Of course you'll lose the resources, but hey, with a bunch of friends you can easily overcome those challenges. So my friends, this is pretty much it. I hope that you are that you have enjoyed it and I hope that this has been helpful. If it has been helpful, please consider subscribing and help the channel grow. I would really like to hit the 2000 subscribers before the end of the year. So how about you help me achieve that goal? But uh, with all of that said my friends, this is the base manager signing out. Mm, bye bye.